Hello everyone, my name is Jose Miguel Orcas from the University of Seville and I'm going to present the work entitled Monte Carlo Tree Search for Feature Model Analysis, a general framework for decision making. So welcome to Monte Carlo. What is Monte Carlo? Monte Carlo is a simulation based method that relies on repeat random sampling to obtain numerical result. The name comes from the famous Monte Carlo Casino located in Monaco. Let us suppose we are in the casino and we take note about 1 million of rollout of the roulette. We expect that each number appear with a frequency of 2.7%, but surprisingly we observe that for some reason number in this zone appear with more frequency. Maybe because the roulette has a physical failure because of the usage or the croupier is an expert on spinning the ball with a particular direction and strength. In any case, we have discovered that these are the winning number and we should bet for them. We have used a simulation and randomness methods to infer knowledge. And in this work, we will use Monte Carlo method to deal with the automatic analysis of feature models. Why Monte Carlo method? The automatic analysis of feature models is challenging for several reasons. First, there are multiple types of analysis. There are analysis over the configurations, such as quantum configuration, feature selection, or optimization of configurations. There are other analyses that are performed over the feature model, as for example when evolving a feature model or in the reverse engineering of feature models. There are other analyses over the products or over the constraints. Second, many of these analyses have to deal with uncertainty as undertaking an exhaustive exploration of the world configuration space is intractable. And third, they require to cope with numerous interrelated features that often expose a combinatorial nature and require to take non-intuitive decisions. Existing techniques such as SAT solving or constraint programming usually present scalability issues. Monte Carlo, and in particular the Monte Carlo tree search method that we will see, has been shown to scale to large search space in the domain of the game theory. Other techniques such as binary decision diagrams and statistical analysis required to build the BDD and this stack may be intractable. Monte Carlo deals with deterministic problem using randomness without the need of a compilation technique. Finally, other techniques such as genetics algorithm and metaheuristics introduce specific domain knowledge, while in Monte Carlo uh, can solve general problems with little or no domain knowledge. Let's see what is the Monte Carlo tree search method. Monte Carlo tree search has been successfully applied in game theory, where he has been shown to scale to large search space like those that typically characterize the software product lines. In Monte Carlo, we part from a given state and we have to decide between a set of alternatives. To decide the best alternative, we perform a number of simulation, obtaining a reward value. A simulation is in game theory is to play a complete game by making random choices. The reward value can be plus one if we win the game or minus one if we lose. After the simulation, we can decide which alternative is the best. This is how the classical method of Monte Carlo works. Monte Carlo Tree Search improved this method by taking into account the result from the previous simulations, building a search tree with that information, and use this information, this search tree, to improve the following simulations. Our proposal consists on applying Monte Carlo tree search for feature model analysis. We first identified software product line analysis problems that can be worthy of examining with the Monte Carlo tree search. And second, we propose a Monte Carlo tree search framework to represent problems as a sequence of decisions, solve problems with the Monte Carlo methods, and we provide also an implementation over the Python framework for automatic analysis of feature models. What type of analysis can be done with Monte Carlo Tree Search? Some of the analysis that can be performed with Monte Carlo Tree Search include the analysis of complex systems from simple actions, 
as for example, selecting a feature to incorporate it in a product is a very simple action to model, but analyzing how that feature contributes to the complete product is challenging due to the existing relation and constraint. Maybe the selection leads to an invalid configuration or a configuration with a low performance or a partial configuration that need to be still complete. There are other problems where the current solution is not the only possible solution. For example, multiple feature models can be extracted from a given set of configurations, each of them with different properties that fulfill our requirements differently. In this case, Monte Carlo research can help us to analyze intu intuitive decisions that can pass unnoticed when only consider the final result. Finally, there are problems that require to handle uncertainty due to the impossibility of dealing with the complex search space. For example, when optimizing configuration, best configuration may be spread across the configuration space, leading to a search-based technique to deal with many uh, local optima. Monte Carlo research is useful to incorporate probability into analysis, understanding the probability distribution of the best configurations. To realize those analyses, we propose a Monte Carlo research conceptual framework extracted from the game theory domain and mapping the concept to the software product domain in order to enable the analysis of feature models. A problem can be formalized with the following concept. As a set of states, while in game theory the state represent position of the board game, in software product line, a state can represent configuration of a feature model, a product or a feature model itself. We also have an initial state that represents how the problem is set up at the start. It can be an empty configuration or an empty feature model. We have a terminal condition that determines the set of terminal state, for example, a valid configuration or a configuration satisfying a given condition. To move from one state to another, we need to define the set of valid actions that correspond with the valid move in games or while in software product line, the action can be to sell it or desell it a feature in a configuration or adding a new feature to a feature model among other uh, actions. The transaction function applied an action to a given state. So if we apply all possible action to the current state, we can obtain the successor of that state and access all the search space. Finally, we need a reward function that determines how good is a terminal state found. It can be a simple value, such as plus one if we win the game or finding a valid configuration, or minus one if we lose the game or reach an invalid configuration. But it can also be a more complex function, like a performance value of a configuration. This concept defines the complex search space of the problem. We have identified several analysis problems that can be uh, mapped to this framework and we have classified them according to what other state represent. Let's see some examples. Analysis where uh, a state represents a configuration of a feature model. Here we focus on problems where a state represents a configuration of a feature model. The state may include also uh, partial configurations or invalid configurations. The set of action include action to select or deselect features. In particular, we have defined action in a given order so that we always reach valid configuration. Select optional features, select feature alternatives, select a feature in a, our group, or select a random feature. The initial state the terminal condition and the reward function are specific of each particular problem. Let us suppose we want to solve the problem of finding minimum valid configuration. The initial state will be the empty configuration where no feature have been selected. The terminal condition will be met when we find a full valid configuration or no more action can be applied. And the reward function can be a number which is higher when less features have been selected in a valid configuration or negative if the configuration found is not valid. 
A similar problem is the completion of partial configuration. In this problem, the initial state is a given partial configuration that we want to complete. The terminal condition and the reward function remain the same as for the previous problem of finding minimum valid configuration. That is, we finish when we found a complete valid configuration. We can observe that we reuse multiple definitions across different problems. The definition of states and action are always the same. Um, in this case, we only change the initial state. Another interesting problem is to localizing those configurations that are valid according to the feature model, but then raises error when they are deployed or executed. Normally because of defective package or some runtime error. The initial state is again an empty configuration. The terminal state is a full of valid configuration and the reward, the reward function is a function that determines the, if the configuration raises some error or not. Note that again we reuse the definition of the previous problem and in this case we only need to add the reward function definition. Finally, another classical problem is the optimization of configuration. Again, we reuse the previous definition but changing only the reward function by a finite function that determines how good is the configuration. Once we have defined our problem as a sequence of state and action, we can solve them with Monte Carlo's research. Let's see how Monte Carlo solved the problem of finding defective configurations. The algorithm will run from the initial state, that in this case is, is an empty configuration, until a terminal state is found. That is a, a configuration that writes error when it is deployed. In each iteration, Monte Carlo Research will select the best feature that get us closer to a defective configuration. Following the actions defined for configurations, the only possible choice is to select the root feature in order to obtain a valid partial configuration. Then we have to decide between three alternatives. To decide the best, we perform a number of simulations from each of these alternatives. Remember that a simulation in this case consists in randomly completing the configuration and checking whether contains error when it is deployed. After the simulation, we aggregate the result and select the best performing feature, in this case the package feature. We repeat the process, but now we have additional information. A defective configuration is more probable, probable to be fine if we select the package feature. So Monte Carlo will explore more in detail this part of the feature model. This means that Monte Carlo research will run more simulation in this part, but also considering the others following an exploitation versus exploration trade-off. The algorithms stop when a terminal state is found, in this case when a complete configuration with error is found. If we deploy this configuration, we will obtain an error. So we can modify the feature model restriction and convert that feature in a dead feature. Apart from finding a defective configuration, Monte Carlo Research gives us other useful information. First, in each step, we obtain information about the possible decision and his contribution to solve the problem. And second, during execution, Monte Carlo Research has built a search tree with information obtained from simulation that we can use to find more defective configurations. We illustrate this information as a heat map with dark color for those features that are more probable to be present in a defective configuration. The heat map is built from the result of the simulations. So far, we have focused on problems where the set of state represent configurations. Let's see other type of analysis where the set of state represent feature models. A state can also represent a feature model itself or other type of variability model, like a cardinality-based feature model or attributed feature model. 
In such case, the set of actions will include action to modify the model, such as including a new feature to the feature model, which can be optional, mandatory, a group, or a child in a group, or the action of including a new cross-tree constraint. Examples of problems that can be modeled with these concepts are the reverse engineering of feature models or the evolution of feature models. In this case, the initial state will be an empty mo feature model with no feature at all. The terminal state can be a feature model containing all the features given in a set of configuration. And the reward function can be a combination of property over the feature model, such as if all configurations are, are represented, or a desired branching factor, or a maximum depth tree, and so on. We have implemented our Monte Carlo tree search framework on top of the Python framework for automatic analysis proposed by Galindo and Benavides, which offer functionality to work with feature models and SAT solvers. Our framework defines two main interfaces to be implemented, state and action, which define the concepts to build the search tree. That is the successor of a current state, the terminal condition, the reward function, and so on. We also provide a set of Monte Carlo algorithms ready to be used over those interfaces and that can be configured with different parameters, for example, as a stopping condition that can be a given number of iteration or a given execution time. The algorithm can also be configured to select the best alternative based on different criteria, such as the highest reward or the most explored alternatives. The framework is available on GitHub and also include implementation of the problem that we have shown in this presentation. Some interesting results that we have obtained. First, Monte Carlo Tree is very sensitive to input. For example, when finding minimum valid configuration, if we change the number of simulation, we may obtain different results. Remember that the method relied on randomness, but in general, we we will obtain better results if we increase the number of simulations. Observe how the number of features decrease if we increase the number of simulations. Second, Monte Carlo research is a selective sampling, so it will present better results than a uniform random sampling solution, as Monte Carlo focuses on taking optimal decision step by step. An interesting result is that Monte Carlo research present a higher fluctuation with the number of simulation in contrast to the other method. This is due to the balance between exploitation of promising zone and exploration of zone that have not been uh, already fully explored. This facilitates Monte Carlo research to escape from local optimas. Finally, it's important to mention that Monte Carlo Research is an anytime algorithm, which will provide better results as long as it runs for more time. So Monte Carlo Research is adequate to take decisions in the medium and long term instead of obtaining immediate results. Conclusions and future work. Monte Carlo Research incorporated probability into analysis to solve problems that are difficult to handle using deterministic approach because of the large search space. Monte Carlo cells provide existing analysis with some decision-making capacity, working directly with the feature models and using very little domain-specific knowledge. Also, the selective sampling of Monte Carlo cell could be incorporated in other existing analysis methods. We expect that with this contribution, different problems and analysis can be addressed using Monte Carlo method and advance a step forward the field of the automatic analysis of feature models. As for future work, we plan to model other problems subject to be analyzed with the Monte Carlo method. We also plan to quantitative compare Monte Carlo method with search-based optimization techniques such as genetic algorithms. And finally, due to the independent nature of each simulation in Monte Carlo method, we would like to improve the performance with some kind of parallelization. Thank you for your visit.